Hi DVC fan, Amy and Paul here, and we are going to show you a Preferred View Duo Studio at the Villas at the Disneyland Hotel. This content is brought to you by the World of DVC, DVC Resale Market, where you can buy and sell a Disney Vacation Club contract, Monero Financial, who can help you purchase that contract through financing, and DVC Rental Store, where you can try before you buy or rent out your own points. A duo studio is gonna be very similar to a Riviera Tower studio. It sleeps two people and it is a smaller room. And instead of a regular bed, you're gonna have a couch that turns into a bed, so a Murphy bed that pulls down into a queen. Right as you come in, you've got this beautiful full length mirror and this curved we've got is a theme that's kind of carried throughout all of the resort here. As soon as you walk into the main living space, you are gonna be met with kind of the hub here of where you're going to find some charging and some storage. It's important to keep in mind that Duo Studios are small and they're meant to be space savers. So everything is kind of designed to save you on space. We do have a nice countertop here. We've got some storage drawers below. And next to these drawers is gonna be where your safe is located as well as some additional storage underneath of there. The coffee pot is a little single serve, similar to a Keurig, basically. For a small room, it does still have a really big television, so we got this nice flat screen with a beautiful backdrop, and it's backlit behind it, so that's just a really pretty accent. And then moving down here is where you're going to find your refrigerator, and this is a fridge that has a freezer space inside of it. And then also to the left of that, we have a microwave and there's actually some real silverware and plates and bowls and ceramic mugs. To the left of the TV area in this little corner, we have a, like a chair basically and or a bench or whatever you want to call it. Uh, above that, we've got some artwork. The Jungle Book is the theme throughout the Duo Studios, and they do have some really pretty artwork. Something that we noticed, though, that's a little bit strange, it's like they didn't put the artwork in the right spot here and they had to move it, is we've got several holes that are kind of visible. I'm surprised that they didn't fix those. We have the main living space, which is going to be your couch that converts into your bed. And in front of that couch, we've got these they're kind of like ottomans slash serve as your coffee table. Um, we try to kind of mess with them and take them apart and we couldn't. So I don't know that they add any additional storage like the ones at Riviera do, but if you figure it out and, and I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but they still are useful. And then once you move those out of the way and you put the bed down, you've got some nightstands and we'll look at those in a second. The Jungle Book theming is throughout and it does carry on over into the rug here that says the bare necessities of life will come to you. I love the colors of this room that are kind of representative of that movie, the greens and the blues and the purples. It all ties together really well. 
On each side of the bed, there's one of these floating nightstands and they do each have a set of charging. So a regular plug, a USB, and then a USB-C, as well as a switch to turn on an individual light on that side of the nightstand. We were a little surprised. The, there is kind of a lack of charging in this room. I know it's just for two people, Besides what's near the bed, the only other outlets or charging space are going to be, there's an outlet right here that is also being used for the coffee pot. And then there is an outlet in the bathroom. The rest of your storage is gonna be right here on this corner. So first we've got this mirror that actually slides open into some storage space. We've got some extra pillows and blankets up there, a seam iron, a normal ironing board, and then a collapsible laundry basket. And then if we close this, it allows us to open up this side, which is the bulk of this storage unit. And this is where you are going to be able to hang your clothes and put some stuff on the floor down there. We're in the bathroom. And just like with the Riviera Tower Studios, this is a good sized bathroom for such a small room. We do have a sink here. It's got one of those kind of bowl sinks. Not a lot of storage down here. This does not move. So just this shelf that already has some things on it. And then something really interesting that we noticed is that we have the H2O bar soap, but then we have this bottle of body lotion. It says sea salt, which is maybe the H2O because that is what H2O is. But this is just, it looks like it's meant to be hooked onto something. And I'm wondering if, if some if people are gonna take this home with them. And I don't know, I think it's meant to be stay here. So we've got a great size walk-in shower here, beautiful tile behind me. And then we also have uh, one of the rain shower heads and then the one that you can actually take off and have it handheld. Over here, we have the H2O pumps. These are the newer ones. So we still do have H2O. We can tell by the colors that that's what it is. And then there's a good bench right here that you can use. The toilet is off to the side here with a cute little jungle book print. They have some hooks over here. We think they're more meant to be for your robes and stuff. And because if you are putting towels on them, when you open the door, you're not gonna be able to get to them because of where the door is once you're in the shower. So likely more for robes or something like that. This is a preferred view duo studio. So we've got a view of basically the resorts. We can see Grand Cow, we can see the park, we can see the Guardians ride. So we can see um, a lot of great things over here. And then the standard views are gonna be on the other side facing the pool. Points wise for this room, this is a weekday and it is in the lowest point season of September. So this room costs 14 points tonight, but it can cost as high as 27 points. The standard view duo studios can cost as little as 13 points tonight and all the way up to 25 points for the higher season. A special thanks to Arthur and Lena who let us video their room today. Thank you both so much. It's been so great to meet and talk with you. One thing that we really wanted to make sure that we mentioned because we were talking about the point cost is that when you stay at the villas at Disneyland Hotel, similar to Alani, there is a nightly transient tax and how much that tax is depends on the room that you booked and the season that it is. So just to give you an example for tonight, the transient tax for the deluxe studios preferred view is $41.70 a night uh, for the standard views it's thirty six dollars and fourteen cents and then for like duo studios uh, the preferred view thirty dollars fifty eight cents tonight and the standard twenty seven dollars eighty cents now some of the larger rooms like the grand villas uh, you go up to, you know, starting at $261.32 tonight, but it does get as high as $556 a night. This is something that you pay when you book with points. If you do book a cash day, it is already baked in, but you are obviously going to be paying a lot more for a cash day. All right, that's gonna do it for us for the tour of the Prefer View Duo Studio. Thank you so much for joining us. If you like this content, please 
hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the action. We've got lots and lots of content coming up on the new villas at the Disneyland Hotel, both on the YouTube channel, on the DVC Fan Facebook group, and then we've got some extra bonus content going up on our Patreon, uh, the DVC Fan Patreon. One more thing about this duo studio, it is right next to the Grand Villa on this floor. And the entrance of this Grand Villa looks really neat.